Hello YouTube, Proxy here, and this week's Dark and Light update is going to be a short one. Now, not much has happened this week, but the Q&A has opened up again. There's only a few new questions that have been asked, so let's cover them quickly so I can get back to playing Final Fantasy XV. There will be no requirements to forming a guild. Players can create guilds just for themselves or a group of friends. Guilds in-game currently known as Houses, Game of Thrones style, and Houses can band together in an alliance to receive the same benefits as a large guild. Moving on to skills in game, most spells will be straight shots, like an FPS third person shooter with some spells being placed AoEs which makes reaction speed and dodging very important in Dark and Light. There is one spell that supposedly locks onto targets so far, which is a high level fire spell that tracks the targets only for a few seconds. Spell nodes are focused in a certain type of play type, you can specialise into crafting or wilderness survival and into magic trees of various types. Water magic will allow some healing and CC abilities, fire magic is focused on damage and destruction, earth magic is focused on defense and stealth-like abilities, and also there are some non-magic combat nodes that will add things that are beyond damage and CC abilities. Also to note there will be a global cooldown built into casting animation, so this could mean that animation skipping might not be abused in dark and light. Resource respawns work the same way as in other survival games, so if you deforest or mine out an entire area, they will pop back sooner or later where they originally were. And finally, this week they announced they will release some gameplay footage before Early Access starts, and they intend to provide pre-Early Access keys to media and influencers in the community, so players can see what Dark and Light is all about before purchasing the game for themselves. Well, that is it for this week. If you enjoyed these news updates, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.